Alright, what's up guys? I am going to be doing a review, actually, a review about the movie Rings. I made a list of pros, cons, and my final thoughts of the movie. So, without further ado, strap your asses in the seat. Get ready to be scared because this movie was not scary at all. And uh, here we go. So, I'm going to start with the pros because there's uh, obviously less of those. And um, here we go. Number one. It kept the first ring movie main plot as its plot in this one as well. Meaning, somebody watches a video and they die seven days later. Uh, number two. There are ways around the seven day time frame given to the victims. For example, if a person were to watch the video that would get them killed in seven days. They have seven days to show the video to an unsuspecting person. And that means the new person that watched it is in danger now. And the original person would not be harmed. Three. The main characters were likable. Easy to root for. This is always good. Because, you know, in horror movies or thriller movies, you always want the main characters to be, like, someone you can root for and not die in the end. But... It was that case with this movie. Number four, acting wasn't too cringy. I mean, it wasn't Academy Award winning or anything, but it was typical thriller movie acting. Number five, the introduction to the main characters weren't too bad. It showed them fairly quickly, and it was easy to identify the fact that the two of them were in a relationship of some sort. After weighing the possible pros or other possible pros i think that's about all i could come up with in this movie actually and uh yeah that's it uh, i could only come up with five pros for this movie so that should tell you about what i thought about it so now to the ex interesting part of this video the cons what i didn't like about the video and um what i thought truly thought about the movie number one the opening scene throws you into a random flight, like an airplane flight, for some reason, that an unknown male has watched the video, and there's no backstory on who this man is, and why this is important to the movie, except for the seven day die time frame, is what I call it, the seven day die time frame. That's it, he, he goes to the bathroom, like looks in the mirrors, like, oh, what's going on, what's going on? Somehow, he floods the toilet, and runs down the plane aisle and sort of dies or something i don't know it was it was cringe number two it had the typical boyfriend girlfriend situation with one heading off to college and one staying home as most thriller movies have one always has to leave like one's always going to a camp or school or just moving away yep that was that was the case in this movie as well obviously Number three, this is the biggest reason I believe I didn't like this movie, because it was rated PG-13. Probably the biggest con of the movie, because when a thriller or a horror movie is rated PG-13, it's bound to fail in my opinion, because one, doesn't have blood and gore, you know, that's pretty much a staple for a horror movie in my opinion. It doesn't have many cuss words, but that doesn't really mean anything to me but you know pg-13 <laughs> that pretty much sums the the movie up in my opinion the death scenes number four the death scenes not only were they complete trash it basically only showed the victim melting no joke melting that's how that bitch that climbs out of the tv would kill her victims melt them or like go into their body and like i don't even know spontaneously combust but not explode whatever that means uh number five the scary bitch that climbs around like a deformed spider i never liked her anything about her the design the look the scary factor if there is one at least because if i ever encountered said bitch i would not hesitate to just run up and drop kick her or something you know who's with me number six the cliche of a character that has moved on from main characters that magically figured out important information the characters the main characters must need to know before they encounter said 
creepy spider looking bitch. Number seven. Characters dying untimely and without much of a backstory as to what exactly happened. This is a very common theme for this movie. Uh, two main characters pull up on a car accident scene and see one of the characters obviously dead at the wheel and the movie fails to show what actually happened to this dude. And uh, yeah, that's, that's not good. Not good. Number eight. Using hallucinations as a scare factor as well as a jump scare factor. And jump scares are the only way this movie will ever scare you. And there isn't too many jump scares. So don't be too scared when you go, you know, steal this from Pirate Bay or something. But uh, yeah, there's my list of eight cons about the rings. And my final thoughts are this movie was an expected disappointment i definitely didn't go into the theater expecting to be scared silly and or crap my pants walking to the car after the movie had ended i didn't see much of the first ring movie but i do know how much that would have changed my perspective on this one because i believed it had no relation to one another the main scary quotation mark scary character is my biggest knock on this movie the spider looking bitch crawling out of my tv that has to be the least scary scenario I would ever be put into. Not only am I not scared, I'm also probably laughing at said bitch and looking to smash, pause, or just kneecap her or something. Overall, I wouldn't recommend paying money for this thriller, in quotation marks, of a movie. Just wait till it comes to Netflix or something and put it on when Netflix and chill is in order. That's probably the only time this video is worth hitting the play button. Background sounds when getting freaky. I would rate this a very, very low three and not ever see another Ring movie ever again. At least not one I have to pay for. Alright, there's my first mo movie review. And uh, thanks for watching and listening to your boy. I appreciate every single one of y'all. I'm out. Doses. 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 Doses.